back. the Philly Sports Unfiltered. Guys, I'm starting to get a little bit worried about Daryl Morey. Uh, some reports have just came out that the Sixers are all in with two players. And again, the Sixers are looking to the Rockets, our former Rockets players, to make a deal. Uh, it seems that the Sixers are all in on two players, and that is Eric Gordon and P.J. Tucker. So let's get into this report really quick, and then I'll give you my breakdown on both Eric Gordon and P.J. Tucker and what I think about the potential fit for the Philadelphia 76ers. So uh, ESPN's Brian Winhurst uh, reported that the Sixers are interested in Eric Gordon. Winhorst said, keep an eye on the Houston Rockets. They've already done an, a deal this offseason. And there looks to be like there could be an Eric Gordon sweepstakes in play. He's heard that the Philadelphia 76ers have interest in him as well as the Phoenix Suns. And Winhorst also mentions that Philadelphia is in the mix for P.J. Tucker, who just opted out of his contract. Okay, so let's look at these two potential players. What kind of players are they? What types of deals do they have? What types of deals are they looking for? And are these players that would actually help the Philadelphia 76ers push past where they are for the next coming season? So one of the things uh, of these two players, first of all, I would just say, I think that Eric Gordon is the better player at this moment in time. Okay, Eric Gordon is younger. He's 33 years old but he's set to make some pretty good coin uh, in the coming off season. He's set to make $19.6 million next season and has a non-guaranteed salary of 20 million for the 2023-2024 season. Now, he still has been playing fairly well. He shot 41% from three last year and it was his best year shooting since 2014. So that shows that, okay, he's still playing at a fairly high level. So for me, I do think Eric Gordon is still a decent player. Uh, I do think he's someone that's go let's starting to enter, you know, more of the backside of his career. Uh, and I don't particularly think that he is really what the Sixers need to propel him forward. But let's look at his stats for 2021, 2022. He averaged 13 points a game, uh, you know, nothing thrilling, two, two assists a game. Again, not very impressive. 47.5% from the field, not so bad, 41% from three, pretty decent free throw shooter at 77%. Now, obviously the Sixers do need guard help. Obviously they could use three point shooting help, every team in the NBA can. But if you watch the Sixers last season, what you saw is they are a slow plodding offensive team. They have to be one of the slowest teams in the NBA. They need players who are more dynamic. You saw the Sixers offense in the moments where Maxi was able to take over a game where he was able to be that dynamic force. The Sixers, uh, you know, the offense looked a lot better. They need more players like that. They need young, dynamic, springy players who are quick, who are twitchy. Uh, that's why I was banging the table for the Sixers to trade for somebody like Tyrese Halliburton rather than James Harden. The Sixers have to get faster. They have to get younger. And I don't think that Eric Gordon at 33 years old helps to do that. Sure, he can shoot the ball a little bit, but he's not particularly fast and he's on the backside of his career and he's making a lot of money. I just don't see uh, how a deal like this helps us. So for me, uh, you know, if we were to pick up an Eric Gordon on, you know, a smaller contract, if he was on you know, a much, much smaller deer than he is now as some veteran depth. Okay, sure. But if you're paying $20 million to the guy, uh, he has to be one of the centerpieces of your team. And I don't think that Eric Gordon is that uh, at this point in his career. So uh, PJ Tucker also opted out of his contract. Tim, Tim Reynolds said uh, this was 100% expected. It doesn't mean he's leaving Miami. The Heat are going to fight to keep him. But Tucker made it clear to his teammates that he would love to be back at the end of the season. So obviously the Sixers, one of the things we were missing last season, we were particularly solid in the playoffs. We were missing toughness. Uh, we were weak. They weren't hitting the boards. We weren't strong enough defensively. We were missing a role player like P.J. Tucker. That is absolutely true. 
If you look at P.J. Tucker, obviously the stats don't jump off the page. He scores seven points a game, five rebounds, two assists. But what P.J. Tucker is, he's tough. He's a tough bastard in the playoffs. Uh, he, he can fight. He can mix it up with people. He can annoy people. Uh, he is the enforcer type of player. Uh, he does bring a certain level of toughness and grit that the Sixers do not have on their team. But the problem is P.J. Tucker is also looking for big money and he's looking for a big extension. He wants a three-year extension at $30 million. The man is 37 years old. I mean, do you want to be paying $10 million to uh, a 40-year-old P.J. Tucker? I'm sorry, but I think the NBA has a problem. There is... You know, for NBA teams and NBA GMs, there is this infatuation with names, okay? There is this infatuation with past reputation, and this infatuation with names, it causes a team like the Sixers to trade for a washed up fat version of James Harden instead of getting, you know, a 23 year old, 24 year old Tyrese Halliburton who's entering the prime of his career that is now a better player than James Harden. Uh, why do teams keep doing themselves this to themselves? They keep you know, uh, bringing in all these old relics that are way past their prime and giving them huge money. You look at the Lakers. They did nothing but bring in older players that had names and that all suck at this point in their career. Uh, do you want to be a team that's watching John Wall sit on the bench for $47 million a year, uh, potentially paying uh, you know, a fat James Harden $250 million over the next five years uh, to watch them come in and suck for your basketball team? Or do you want to bring in young, talented players and build around guys like Tyrese Maxey? Me? Uh, I would rather go young. I'd rather go younger, faster, hungrier. Uh, you know, people talk about Embiid's window, but uh, Embiid's not that old. And, you know, he's had some injuries, but he's been fairly healthy over the last couple of seasons. Obviously, he could use somebody to spell him some minutes. Um, but I think we're headed in the absolute wrong direction. And I'm worried about Daryl Morey. What I'm seeing when I look at Daryl Morey, I'm seeing a guy who had some semblance of success in Houston by doing things a certain way. He got comfortable with certain players. And it seems like he doesn't know how to do it a different way. Uh, all these people that Daryl Morey is considering, he's looking to bring in, he's, he's rumored to be associated with, these are all old relics from a past life in Houston. You know, like that... <laughs> Why are we picking up like old Houston Rockets garbage? Why, why do we not have a better plan in place? The Sixers are slow, okay? Uh, they need younger, faster guard help, okay? They need a more dynamic big man that can spell Joel Embiid. These players are not it. I'm sorry. They're too old. They're past their prime. They're making way too much money. Uh, they're being paid for their name and being paid for their past reputation. And uh, I don't think it's good enough. But what say you? Uh, are you in on Eric Gordon? Let me know in the comment section below. Are you in on PJ Tucker? Let me know in the comment section below. If not, who would you like to see the Sixers to bring in? Let me know in the comment section below. And are you getting worried about Daryl Morey? Uh, at this point, I'm going to be honest, I'm super worried about Daryl Morey. Uh, he has not been impressive at all. Uh, since we brought him here has not been impressive whatsoever, but let me know your feelings on Daryl Morey in the comment section below. That's all I have for this video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.